Ladies and gentlemen, post COVID, we all learned a new way of working. It was called work from home. The Aam Aadmi Party government in Delhi has taken it to the next level and is showing us something called work from jail. Mr. Kejriwal, after his rather dramatic arrest on Friday, continues to be Delhi's chief minister and continues to send out orders to his ministers. Two days after his first order on water supply in the capital, Arvind Kejriwal has issued his second order from the ED's lockup. Now, the fresh directions were shared by Delhi Health Minister Saurabh Bharadwaj today and they pertain to medicines and tests being made available at government-run Mohalla clinics in the city. Listen in. CM Saab, ye jaan ke behad vyathit hain ki Dilli ke kai aspatalo mein aur mohalla kliniko ke andar dawaiyan uplabd nahi hain. Kuch aspatalo mein mohalla kliniko ke andar jo muft test hote hain, jo muft blood test hote hain aur samples hote hain, wo uplabd nahi hain. Aur unhe lagta hai ki उनके जेल में जाने की वजह से दिल्ली में किसी को तकलीफ नहीं होनी चाहिए। Now the ED is perplexed. They want to know how Mr. Kejriwal is passing orders, written orders, when no stationery or computer has been made available to him. The BJP is livid, and they say that Mr. Kejriwal should resign because gangs are run from jail, not governments. ये टोटल इलीगल था अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल था और ये मुख्यमंत्री के ऑफिस का मिसयूज है ये क्रिमिनल कॉन्स्परेसी है आतिशी जी और जो जो लोग इसमें इन्वॉल्व थे मुख्यमंत्री का ऑफिस इलीगल तरीके से चलाने में उसको हाईजैक करने में क्रिमिनल कॉन्स्परेसी में इन सब को एक्सपोज किया जाए मुकदमा दर्ज किया जाए और उनके ऊपर कार्रवाई की जाए now, the dangal and drama had spilled onto the streets of the national capital today as well. Just take a look. Aam Aadmi Party workers and leaders today tried to ghera the Prime Minister's residence, but as expected, they were detained. Now, to counter the AAP's protests, BJP workers and leaders too took to the streets in Delhi. BJP Delhi Chief Virendra Sajdeva was also detained during this term. Meanwhile, the Delhi High Court will be hearing Arvind Kejriwal's plea challenging his alleged illegal arrest by the Enforcement Directorate tomorrow. Question is, if there is nothing in the constitution that stops Mr. Kejriwal for continuing as the chief minister, should the BJP be asking for a resignation? I'm putting that question to my guests who are joining me this evening. Shikha Rai continues to be with us. She's spokesperson of the BJP. Desh Ratan Nigam is a lawyer. Sanjeev Kaushik is a political analyst. Sanjay Hegre is a senior advocate. Can I come to you, Desh Ratan Nigam, and ask you on what basis, on what basis the BJP is asking the chief minister of Delhi to resign? He's not been convicted. And nothing under the law says that a chief minister who's not been convicted cannot continue as the chief minister. Well, uh, one thing is very clear, Shreya that uh, the jail manual and ED custody is like a police custody and therefore jail manual will be applicable. It only allows two meetings with mm. uh, friends, relatives and lawyers. So he cannot have meeting with his cabinet colleagues. Mm. There are no reports that are coming to him and no stationery under the law is being provided to him. So this appears to be the pre-written order prior mm. to arrest in anticipation of the arrest. And therefore, to say that these orders are coming now, mm. which is which is wrong. And secondly, uh, the issues that he is flagging, they were already there when he was roaming free. The chief minister was free. And he had himself, mm. you know, flagged those issues at that point mm. of time. So the chaos and mismanagement was already existing. Mm. Now he doesn't have any portfolio. Mm. And this order, it seems, he mm. ensure, it's more like a request, not an order, because the concerned ministers have to take those steps and in, and presuming that these orders which he is sending somehow which he is sending clearly means the existing ministers are not working mm. they are not doing the job and if that is mm. there is a practical difficulty mm. of discharging his functions as a cm then it will be a headless government headless government means constitutional crisis then the other provisions of 239 ab of the constitution comes into the picture. So those are the subsequent steps that may take place. The resignation question does not arise. I don't know why okay. it is being asked because he remains the chief minister. But can he work as a chief minister from inside? Certainly uh -huh. no, he cannot. Even the law does not uh, permit Shikha the meeting with the cabinet okay. ministers or he has no Shik reports with him. He has no reports with him Correct. officially coming to him. Correct. Shikha uh, Rai. Um, 
Yes. I agree with you. As, let me put that question to the BJP spokesperson here. Shikha Rai, why ask for his resignation? If the constitution doesn't demand that he resigns, why is the BJP demanding that he resigns? Yes. On what basis? Yes. One, strictly on the moral grounds. Did the people of uh, Delhi give him the mandate that he should fall himself in uh, corruption, get involved in corruption, and then go to jail, and then uh, run the government from that? No. They gave him the mandate to run this government with all his integrity, with all imandari, which he didn't do. So on hmm. moral ground, I think we should not be hmm. asking for hmm. it. He should be the one who should himself resign. We are asking only because now they are trying again to commit a fraud with people. As one after the other, his letter is hmm. coming out of the uh, ED uh, custody, saying that Mr. Kejriwal has sent this letter to hmm. this minister, Kejriwal has sent this letter to this minister as if one, the ministers themselves are not mm. competent. Secondly, as it's been told that he didn't mm. have any department, so how come it is so it has been said that medicines are not available in the but that uh, is their problem now. So of course, Mr. Kejriwal is not there as he had said so as if it but was that lying, is their problem. As it is if it, if it was lying in some godown of Mr. Kejriwal which was every day given supply to the Mohalla clinics, mm. one. Isn't there any other competent Achha, person in the party? to uh, uh, run the government till Mr. Uh, huh. Kejriwal absolves himself of all the charges that he's facing. So That's a fair question. Isn't he involved in the corruption? That's a fair question. Isn't Prima Fishaji's charges made against him? No, we don't know. Him? Isn't the court denied him? Uh, we don't know. Bail? Prima Fishaji's charges have been made against Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh as well. And you say, did the people of Delhi elect Mr. Kejriwal to do corruption? Did the people of so Gonda uh, elect Mr. Bridgebushan Sharan Singh to yes. allegedly yes. harass women athletes? No, so no. So they both gentlemen have not been convicted. And therefore, they can continue so, in their so positions. That's the argument so, that the BJP gave so for not sacking Bridgebushan so Sharan Singh. Sharan That's exactly the argument the Aam Aadmi the... Party will do. No, but Sanjeev then, Kaushik, then, would then, you want to come, come in here? The question agency is simple. Is investigating the all procedures with prime Vishai evidence against him. What is Jay, so uh, this Jay. thing about it? There are investigative would not agencies. The chair, and ah. in all practicality, I may ask as to how Take he would it. run the government. Sanjeev ji se is there hai. any procedure? The procedure Sanjeev says ji se that he hai. cannot send out a letter, he cannot meet anybody other than his private letters, he cannot send out a, any letter which can be publicized. How can he run the government? From okay. Hell? Okay, okay. Just, just, just to tell our viewers that uh, he is allowed to meet his wife uh, and just his private secretary for half an hour, and another half an hour has been Delhi. allocated to his lawyer. Okay, Sanjeev Kaushik ji, just respond to that. How can you run a government from within jail? Or kitne din karenge aap ye fasad? Sabse pehle. And is there no one? I mean, is the Ahmadni Party so bereft of good leadership ki Arvind Kejriwal ki jagah koi lei nahi sakta hai? After all, aap yaad kariye jail jale leta, unka arrest hua, unhone quit kiya next day. और कोई और चीफ मिनिस्टर बना था तो यहां क्या प्रॉब्लम है कि कोई और चीफ मिनिस्टर बन जाए श्रेया दो बातें हैं पहली बात तो ये कि संवैधानिक रूप से ये कोई गलत नहीं है यदि कानून संविधान में यदि कहीं से इसकी अवहेलना होती हुई दिखे तो विद्वान लोग हैं यहाँ पे वो लोग बताएं कि क्या इसमें गड़बड़ी है और दूसरी चीज की नैतिकता की बात तो कम से कम भारतीय जनता पार्टी करे ही नहीं वो तो यही चाहती थी कि किसी तरह से अरविंद केजरीवाल जेल में जाए और दिल्ली की जनता के जो सरकारी मुद्दों पर वो काम कर रहे थे वो डिस्टर्ब हो जाए वो कर क्या रहे हैं सवाल ये है कि वो चिट्ठी लिख रहे हैं लेटर लिख रहे हैं या दिल्ली के जनता के पेट में मड़ोर क्यों है दिल्ली के जनता के लिए वो तत्पर है कि पानी नहीं रुके गर्मियों के दिन में दिल्ली के जनता के लिए वो बहुत ज़्यादा सिंसियरिटी के साथ कह रहे हैं कि नहीं दवाओं की किल्लत नहीं होनी चाहिए जाँच नहीं रुकने चाहिए यही तो समस्या है ना भारतीय जनता पार्टी इसी पर तो विराम लगाना चाहती थी हम सिर्फ ये कह रहे हैं कि केवल आरोप लगा देने से लगातार इससे पहले भी इस तरह की बातें हुई है सारे पा, पार्टी के वरिष्ठ नेताओं पर भारतीय जनता पार्टी आरोप लगाती रहे इसी तरह से और पी एम एल ए की तरह उसको गिरफ्तार करके जेल में डाल दे और दिल्ली के जनता का काम काज रुक जाए अब खेल दूसरी हो रही है यहाँ पे ये प्रयास किया जा रहा है कि इसे असंवैधानिक बताते हुए अब दिल्ली की सरकार को अपदस्त करने की कोशिश की जाएगी इसमें जो जो दिल्ली की जनता बड़े गौर से देख रही है कि किस तरह से अरे चर्चा करनी है तो चर्चा कीजिए ना 
चर्चा कीजिए ना कि साठ करोड़ रुपए लेकर के किस तरह से एक चक्रव्यूह रचने का प्रयास किया गया उसके बारे में चर्चा नहीं होगी ये पूरा चक्र रचा गया किस तरह से एक्यूज बनाया गया उसके बारे में कोई बात नहीं होगी लेकिन दिल्ली के जनता के लिए वो काम क्यों कर रहे हैं वो जेब से निकाल के पर्ची पढ़ रहे हैं अदालत ने क्या कहा है कि कितने लोगों को मिलना है कितने देर के लिए मिलना है अरे साहब मुख्यमंत्री हैं मिलने के लिए दस मिनट के लिए यदि कोई जाता है सूचना तो मिलती होगी ना बात तो होती होगी ना ये बात तो होती होगी कि पानी की दिक्कत है दवा की किल्लत है जो योजनाएँ हैं किस तरह से चल रही हैं मौके की कर रहे हैं वो रिटर्न में आ जाएगा जब आना होगा आ जाएगा दिल्ली की जनता के काम रुकने चाहिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी ये चाहती है कि वो इस्तीफा दे दे अरे साहब आपके कहने से इस्तीफा दे दे दिल्ली की जनता ने ही कहा कि इस्तीफा नहीं देना है आप अंदर तरह के काम कीजिए दिल्ली की जनता से पहले वो पूछ चुके हैं सर्वे करा चुके हैं और दिल्ली की जनता का काम किसी भी कीमत पर रुकने नहीं जा रहा है उनकी उसी तरह से मुफ्त में पानी मुफ्त में बिजली मुफ्त में बसों की यात्रा ये दवा ये स्कूल सारी व्यवस्थाएँ जो चलती रहेंगी और जो वादे किए हैं बहुत सारे ऐसे भी चीज़ें जो वादे किए हैं उन्होंने वो वादे भी पूरे होंगे और सौ फीसदी पूरे होंगे दिल्ली की जनता ये देख रही है किस तरह से दिल्ली सरकार को अपदस्त करने का एक कुचक्र रचा जा रहा है और इसे नहीं वो तो देख रही है वो तो मैं मानती हूँ लेकिन दिल्ली की जनता ये भी देख रही है कि ये जो मैं तो बर्खास्त कीजिए मैं देखिए मैंने तो बोला ही नहीं मैंने तो बोला ही नहीं अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल है मैंने बोला अनप्रैक्टिकल है मैंने बोला कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल नहीं है लेकिन प्रैक्टिकल नहीं है संजय हेगड़े यू नो दी आम आदमी पार्टी एंड संजीव जी संजीव जी रिप्रेजेंटिंग दी आम आदमी पार्टी दिस इवनिंग गलत तरीके से साफ दिखाई दे श्रेया 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 एक चुना हुआ मुख्यमंत्री गलत तरीके से साफ दिखाई दे रहा है कि उसको ईडी का इस्तेमाल करके फंसा करके उसको जेल में डाल दिया गया है अब वो इस्तीफा दे दे और इस्तीफा देकर के चुपचाप घर पर बैठ जाए उसके बाद में ये लोग कहेंगे कि नहीं अब दूसरी खेल शुरू हो यहाँ पे दिल्ली में काम नहीं रुकना चाहिए ये ठीक है गैर संवैधानिक होते हुए गैर संवैधानिक तो नहीं है ना संजय जी संजीव जी गैर संवैधानिक नहीं है तो मैं भी बोल रही हूँ संजय हेगड़े वी ऑल अंडरस्टैंड एंड वी हैड दिस डिबेट बिफोर दैट मिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल कंटिन्यूइंग फ्रॉम जेल इज नॉट अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट बट टू माय माइंड इट्स नॉट प्रैक्टिकल आई डोंट नो हाउ लॉन्ग इट विल लास्ट बट माई क्वेश्चन टू यू इज दिस कैन द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर ऑफ डेली इंटरवीन गो नॉकिंग टू द प्रेजिडेंट डॉ एंड से दिस कॉन्ट वर्क well that is what the lieutenant governor can always do right uh, irrespective of whether mm. mr kejriwal mm. was in jail or not in jail if at any time he came to the determination that there had been a breakdown of constitutional machinery he could send in a report but that report mm. uh, and if mm. uh, after that report president's rule was imposed that could always be challenged in the courts but now coming to your question of practicality it is not as if the fundamental rights part company at the prison gate that was what justice krishna ayer long ago said there have been practical solutions which have been found uh, you had uh, the sahara uh, man the sahara shri as it were uh, being allowed to operate from mm -hmm. jail because certain assets of the company had to be sold off and the court after a due application allowed it uh, in the old days when uh, the actor balraj sahani was detained under the defense of india rules he had a movie going on uh, he would be let out from prison every day in the morning go for the movie shooting and come back uh, at the end of the day so the while the jail manual exists the in the interest of uh, regulation and administration exceptions can be made and courts can also pass mm -hmm. orders so uh, at the end of the day we are in uncharted territory this is the first time that a person who is the chief minister has been arrested and has not resigned mm. and there is a point to be urged there because you see disqualifications parliament has provided for parliament has not provided for this particular situation so therefore the call legitimately must Correct. go back to parliament mm. parliament may make a law may may not make a law but while they make a law or if they make mm. a law they must take this into consideration if you were to say that an investigating officer who has the right to arrest anyone is to override the will of the 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 electors of any state it's the people of delhi who have elected mm. a party and that party has elected a chief minister correct now if because he has been arrested mm. by uh, by an investigating officer he has to resign then the law will be that 
you know, tomorrow it can be an investigating officer who does not like a prime minister and arrest the prime minister. Even that prime minister will have to resign. Mm -hmm. So we are not yet in a police state. Parliament, having not chosen to make a law, should be called upon. You take a call now. How would you like mm -hmm. people to be totally at the mercy of the investigating officer? It's not as if a charge sheet has been filed. Mm -hmm. It is not as if charges have been framed by a court. Previously, the uh, convention among the parties was that if charges had been framed by a court, that is, if a judicial mind had been applied, it is at that stage that people resign. Mm. Also, uh, unnecessary mm. arrests were not made. This, this is where a investigating officer with vast powers has gone on and decided to arrest everyone, mm. notwithstanding the fact that in the same case, and mm. Manush Sodia's time, the Supreme Court had asked them to file a charge sheet within and could conclude a trial within six months. Mm. They have not. Mm. <coughs> mm. They have not done it and are merrily going on arresting more and more people. Mm. This is uh, sure. this is not okay. a question. Which so is I think all of us can. Yeah, please go ahead. Hmm. Please go ahead. So he here's the point. I think all of us agree. I think all of us agree to the fact that we are in uncharted territory. This is what we are seeing is unprecedented right now. Uh, uh, the parliament cannot do anything right now. We have a general election on our heads, uh, and it's only in June, possibly in July, uh, that we will maybe the parliament gets around to discussing what has happened to Arvind Kejriwal. For the moment, for the foreseeable future, by the looks of it, he is in jail unless the courts decide otherwise tomorrow. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Till then. Arvind Kejriwal and the Amadni party is clear. He will continue to be chief minister and he will continue to rule from jail. The BJP, of course, saying gangs are run from jail, not governments. Although I have to say a thing or two about the Delhi, uh, about, you know, right now he's in ED custody, but Delhi's jails are rather accommodating. They've let Mr. Sukesh Chandrasekhar run an empire and a love life from jail. So I'm sure they can be accommodating to the chief minister of Delhi as well. We'll leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much to the BJP spokesperson joining us, Shikha Rai. Thank you very much, Desh Ratan Nigam. Uh, Sanjeev Ji, thank you very much. And thank you very much, Sanjay Hegde, for joining us as well. With that, ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap from me. I'll be back in